Yeah. What are we making today? Essence of Grimdark. Arid, arid earth. Hey everyone, I'm Sebastian and welcome to Atmos Seeker, your place for creating an inspiring atmosphere for your tabletop role-playing games. Often when I'm out and about, I'm always on the lookout for knickknacks and things to help flesh out the gaming space. And the other day, I stumbled upon these in the uh, dollar store. These are these cool looking apothecary looking jars and they were just a few bucks each. But now I'm faced with the question about what do I put inside them? Oh. Well, if you're like me and you make a lot of terrain or miniatures, then chances are you've probably got a bit of a collection of flocks and mosses, and I'm a big fan of this basing material from Geek Gaming Scenics. I think it's high time that we take these out of the crammed flocking drawer and use them as some fantasy style props in the gaming space. So while the jars have a cool look to them, I'm gonna age and weather them a bit. And to do this, I'm gonna take some brown acrylic paint and with some paper towel or a sponge, lightly dab the glass to try and build up some grime. The aim is to make the glass appear aged without obscuring too much what's inside them. To prevent the paint from rubbing off when handling the jars, I gave it the spray with some matte varnish. Once that's dry, I created some labels that can be printed out and glued to the jar. These were a lot of fun to design, and in the description, you'll find a link to a free blank label that can be written on. Patreon supporters like these fine folk listed here will get access to the full set. Whilst I'm thanking my patrons, a special shout out to Chris Andrus, Luke Mansberger, John A. Johnson, and Charisma on Command. So this is just a simple way to display some of those crafting materials as a fantasy style prop. And I feel like some crazy wizard clambering for the right ingredients when enjoying the hobby. Still wanting to add more props, terrain, and atmosphere for your tabletop games? Then check out these videos. Until next time, I'm Sebastian, and let's create and inspire.